What is up, everyone? Okay, that was a really cringy intro. So basically, today, I am reviewing my second favorite book series of all time. It is called... This is actually kind of hard to do. The Land of Stories. <sighs> so this is a six book... Oh my gosh. This is a six book set. It has six books. And they're all very good. And another video, I also rank all the books. So be sure to check that out as soon as I'm... As soon as you're done watching this review. Oh, by the way... There are going to be spoilers in the ranking, but there aren't going to be any spoilers here. So if you haven't read the book series yet, then you can totally watch this video. Just that I put that aside. Oh, I'm getting a terrible glare from the light over there. Okay, that's better. Okay, well, now that we've adjusted the lighting, it is time to start, well, reviewing so this is the very first book it is called the wishing spell i'm sorry that it's like horizontally flipped but i can't do anything about it so this is the first book it is called the wishing spell as i just said so when just when you look at this cover it's actually really beautiful so this cover is in all green and um it has some very interesting characters so there you can you, you can see some Fairy tale landmarks on the cover, like Jack and the Beanstalks, well, Beanstalk. You can see some fairy tale characters there and some interesting characters. So, now let's get it, let's um, move away from the cover. Oh, by the way, the, the author's name is Chris Colfer. Just thought I should uh, do that. I don't know if I mentioned that I'm trying the camera at the new angle, but I am. Okay, so, this book is the first book in the series. This is the book that started it all. So, basically, the story follows these two tweens. Their names are Alex and Connor, boy and girl. Alex is the girl. I know Alex is usually a boy's name, but not in this book series. Well, it doesn't mean that Alex still isn't a boy's name, but the, but the character named Alex in this book series is girl. Pretty self-explanatory. So, basically... This story follows the two tweens, Connor and Alex Bailey, but unfortunately, the year just before their 12th birthday, their father died in a car crash, which was their father's mom. Wait, what? Which was... I don't know how to explain this, but their grandmother is their father's mom. That's what I meant to say there. So just ignore what I said before that. Well, don't no. Well, don't ignore everything that I said before that. <sighs> this is a mess. Well, anyway, and so for their tw for the twins' twelfth birthday, their grandmother gives them this land of this book called Land of Store the Land of Stories, and it follows and it has. The tales of all of these fairy tale characters. But one night, when Alex is in bed, the book starts glowing. Can you believe it, fam? You probably can't. And Alex and Connor get sucked by the book into the land of stories where fairy tales are real. And they basically have to go on this quest to uh, make this potion to get back home so that's what the first book is about now we're moving on to the second book called the enchantress returns this is the uh second book in the series and it is the longest book in the series or the thickest whatever you prefer to say anyway so you may be thinking who the heck is the enchantress and let me tell you, she's the person who cursed Sleeping Beauty to sleep for 100 years. And I forgot to mention, this. these stories follow what happened after these fairy tales. So it's not like the fairy tales are currently happening. And uh, this book has over 500 pages. 517 to be exact. So again, look at this beautiful cover. This one is all in purple. Each book has a different, like, color theme, you know what I mean? So, uh, you, we can see some 
interesting characters here. We see a golden woman, and she kind of looks like a harp. And we have this polar bear, and we have this spindle wheel or whatever. So, yeah. Now, let me tell you what this book is about. So, basically, Alex and Connor have to stop the evil enchantress from taking over the entire world. Pretty simple. And uh, they have to collect the six most prized possessions of the six most hated people in the entire fairy tale world. So, like, the enchantress, uh, the evil stepmother, you know, it's, pr it's a pretty cool book. Because, uh, you know, it's the longest one. Okay. The third book is called A Grim Warning. This book is just so intense. Again, so much happens. I mean, I guess so much happens in these books in general, but still. I was, I'm sorry about that, by the way. Uh, my uh, book fell in the box and we don't want that. Because that's bad. Anyway, so... Um, so basically in this book, I don't know how to explain it without giving too much away. A dragon rises in the land with stories in this book. Oh yeah, and this 200-year-old French umpire tries to take over it, but that's, that's not that bad. Uh, let me just read a paragraph because it is so intense. Let me just read a little section. Where is it? It's towards the end of the book. Oh, here it is. Smoke filled the sky above the treetops in the distance. A horrible screeching noise erupted through the air. Everyone standing at the palace covered their ears from the dreadful sound. Oh no, Alex said, and her face went pale. It can't be, Mother Goose faintly whispered to herself. The happily ever after assembly watched in horror as the silhouette of a gargantuan creature appeared above the trees. The rumors of the egg were true. A dragon had risen in the land of stories. Are you kidding me? That's like such an intense section. So, uh, yeah, this book is really cool. And now we have the fourth book in the series, which is called Beyond the Kingdoms. And, uh, you may recognize some of the, uh, things on this cover. I mean, do these characters ring a bell? Yeah, Alex, in this book, Alex and Connor go into famous pieces of literature. Okay, look weird there. But I, and I can't tell you why, because again, that's, that's a spoiler alert. But uh, yeah, they enter uh, famous pages of piece. I, I said peaches. Blah, blah, blah. They enter famous pieces of literature, like The Wizard of Oz. I don't know what the name of Wonderland is called, but it's the book with Wonderland and the Queen of Hearts and stuff. They answer Peter Pan, King Arthur, you know, all that famous literature. And finally, we have the fifth book in the series, which is called An Author's Odyssey. So uh, again, look at this beautiful cover. This one's all in black. The last one was in blue. So this one's in black. Uh... So, uh, these characters may be unrecognizable, which is because in this book, Alex and Connor go into Connor's short stories that he wrote in school. This series just keeps getting better and better, I'm telling you. And again, I cannot tell you why, because again, that ruins the spoilers. Well, it doesn't ruin them. I don't know. And finally, we have the last book in the series, which is called Worlds Collide. So, just by looking at this cover, you can probably take a guess at what happens. Um, yeah. Uh, all of the fairy tale characters go into New York City. So, basically, well, it's like the name suggests, worlds collide. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, I know it is. So, um, all the fairy tale characters go into the... Muggle world. Well, not really muggle world because that's not a term in the land of stories. But it is in Harry Potter. For all of you Potter heads out there, I know there's a lot of you. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. There's these cool pop-ups at the beginning of all of these books. 
Like, uh, for this one, you can see this really cool map of the fairy tale world. I hope you can see it. So we've got the Elf Empire, the Northern Kingdom, a hidden place, the Sleeping Kingdom, the Red Riding Hood Kingdom, the Dwarf Forests, the Corner Kingdom, the Charming Kingdom, the Fairy Kingdom, the Troll and Goblin Territory, and Mermaid Bay. So there's, so it's pretty big. There's pop-ups at the ad uh, at the beginning of every single book too. So, and I'll show you every single one of them because why not? So for the Enchantress Returns, it's basically uh the same except it kind of sh except the names kind of changed. So we still have the Elf Empire, a hidden place, the Northern Kingdom, the Dwarf Forests, the Corner Kingdom, the Red Riding Hood Kingdom, the Charming Kingdom, the Troll and Goblin Territory, the Fairy Kingdom, the Mermaid Bay. The only new thing is that it, now it's called the Eastern Kingdom, so that's pretty interesting. The books keep falling. Okay, anyway, next for the Grim Warning, we actually have a timeline of the fairy tale world, but I can't read you all of this because, well, it would uh, ruin it. It would ruin the, some of the, you know, things. So, and for Beyond the Kingdoms, it, 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 sh it shows the rules of the portal potion. And, the, and all of the places they go to. They go to Wonderland, they go to Canelot, they go to Sherwood Forest, they go to the Land of Oz and the Neverland. So, the portal potion and the rules are, with just a few drops... The potion turns any written work into a portal to the world it describes. Now, I must warn about the dangers of entering a fictional world. Rule number one. Time only exists as long as the story continues. Be sure to leave the book before the story ends, or you may disappear as the story concludes. Rule number two. Each world is made of only what the author describes. Do not expect the characters to have any knowledge of our world or the other world. Rule number three, beware of the story's villains. Unlike people in our world or the other worlds, most literary villains are created to be heartless and stripped of all morals. So do not expect any mercy should you cross paths with one. Rule number four, the last rule, the book you choose to enter will act as your entrance and exit. Be certain nothing happens to it. It is your only way out. So uh, pretty intense. And so the fifth book's pop-up is Connor Bailey's uh, uh, short story portfolio. It, it basically just shows all of his short stories. We have Starboardia, The Galaxy Queen, The Ziblings, and The Adventures of Blimp Boy. Still quite an interesting name, I think. And then finally, the sixth pop-up. Oops, how did I bend my book? That's terrible. Oh, well, as you read books, they get ruined and destroyed. So um, it shows ba basically the map of New York City. It shows the Freedom Tower, the Statue of Liberty, you know, all of those uh, landmarks in New York City. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and be sure to check out the next video where I rank all of the books. By the way, that one does have spoiler alert, so uh, if you haven't read the books, don't watch that one. I, I never thought I would say don't watch it if you haven't read it, but like, unless you want to know what happens, but I don't think you would. So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you next time. Bye! That was really creepy. I'm sorry about that, guys.